Thank you all so much for watching another video. Uh, if I provide any value to you during this video, go ahead and like this video and also subscribe uh, so that I know you all are enjoying the information that I'm providing to you all. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do market research from a snapshot view. Of course, once you look at this, you could go deeper uh, by using other websites and other platforms, but with PropStream, you could actually do a snapshot of what's actually going on in that particular city, uh, and you can get uh, as granular as the zip code, right? So uh, from here, uh, this is PropStream that I'm using. If you guys are not familiar with PropStream, it's a great, great, great software. Uh, you'll actually be able to uh, use this to make a list uh, to where you can find motivated sellers uh, or find information on a property, right? So uh, for the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and type in Houston. All right, now it pulls up all of the properties that are public record and information that's available in Houston. It's over 900 some thousand properties that, that it's finding here, right? So what you will do, uh, and this is from the desktop, you'll go and click on statistics, this arrow pointing up. And now what this does is it shows you all the information for uh, the city. So it shows uh, the trends for homes that's for sale over the last 30 days, right? Uh, the average listing price, uh, the average uh, listing price per square foot, uh, the average days on market, like it's, it's showing what it is for the city. Now, uh, it also breaks it down to the average days uh, on market for the bedrooms, right? Now, you'll notice here, one bedroom stays on the market longer than two, but out of the one through five plus, three bedrooms tend to stay on a market the least amount of days. So whatever I'm making my criteria, I like to stay at about three, right? When it comes to my criteria, at least three uh, and at least uh, two bathrooms, right? Uh, and this also shows the uh, new pre-foreclosures uh, that are happening per month. Uh, so you can go ahead and look at all this information uh, as this continues. So this is just a, a quick snapshot tool that you could use to do uh, just a trend analysis of what's actually going on in that particular area. You could do it for 30 days, you could do it for 90 days, uh, six months, and you could do it uh, you know, for extended periods of time. So uh, that is for the city. Now you can actually get it down to the zip code uh, itself. Uh, so with that, this shows uh, this particular zip code. Uh, and again, it shows all of the information uh, that's here at a glance. Now, if what's here matches your criteria, what you're looking for when it comes to analyzing a city uh, or a zip code or whatever market, then you can go in and do your additional research. So that's what I got for you on uh, this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, put that in the comment section below. Uh, and I'll go ahead and answer it to the best of my abilities. Uh, if you have any ideas for what other videos you guys would like to watch, go ahead and let me know. Uh, and I'll go ahead and make it happen. Thank you all so much. And I will see you on the next one.